urban rail transit in Africa has grown in popularity as a result of the continent's rapid urbanization in recent decades. Several of these transit systems are more established and developed, such as Cairo's Metro, which opened in 1987. Others, such as Addis Ababa's light rail system, opened in 2015. Numerous technologies, including light rail, bus rapid transit, and commuter rail, are being used. Africa has historically seen little investment in rail infrastructure. But in recent years, as urban populations have grown and financing options have improved, investment in rail networks has increased. Ivory Coast has one of Africa's fastest growing economies. According to IMF projections, the country's GDP will grow at a rate of approximately 6% in the coming years. Nevertheless, the city of Abidjan Ivory Coast's capital city and one of the continent's most populous French-speaking cities have seen mobility challenges due to deficiency and inequality in distribution of transport infrastructure. There is virtually the absence of public transport and the mushrooming of informal modes of transport that cannot remedy this problem as they are more unsafe, increase pollution and cause delayance. As a remedy to this situation, the Ivorian government has chosen to entrust the construction of one of West Africa's first metro train systems to the consortium Bowix Travox Publics and its partners. Abidjan Metro, also known as Metro Dabidjan, is a 37.5 kilometers long elevated rapid transit network being developed by French companies in coordination with the Ivory Coast government to address the traffic congestion in the city of Abidjan. Abidjan will become the third African city with high-capacity urban metro upon commissioning of the system. Construction began in 2020, with passenger service expected to begin in 2025. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Economic growth has been facilitated by increased political stability and infrastructure investment throughout Abidjan with major projects such as the Henry Conan BT Bridge establishing the city as one of the best investment locations in Africa. The Ivorian government is considering expanding the Abidjan metro system by building a second line between Yopagan and Bingeville, between Abidjan and Azagui, a distance of approximately 70 kilometers, the first railway in Ivory Coast, then a part of French West Africa, opened in 1905. It was built in meter gauge, which was customary for local railways in France at the time. The line was gradually extended until 1954, when it reached Ouagadougou in Upper Volta, modern-day Burkina Faso. This line's 660-kilometer segment through Ivory Coast remains the country's only railway. Ivory Coast initially signed a build, operate, and transfer agreement with a French South Korean consortium for the construction of Line 2 of the Abidjan Metro. Bowix, Keolis, Hyundai Rotem, and Donson Engineering were all members of the collaboration. The project was initially planned as a single line with 13 stations, but has since been expanded to a single north-south line with 20 stations, entirely financed by France and built by three French groups, Bowix, via its subsidiaries Bowix Travox Publix and Kohler's Rail, Alstom and Keolis, following the withdrawal of the South Korean partners in October 2017. In November 2017, the government resumed work on the metro. In 2019, a contract was ultimately issued for the construction of a 37-kilometer-long light rail metro system connecting Abidjan's northern and southern districts. In December 2019, 
the government approved a technical and financial offer filed by the Society des Transports Abigenais Sur Rail Star Consortium through a second addendum, paving the door for the start of construction on Line 1 of the Metro project. Alstom, Keolis, Kola's Rail, and Bauwerk's Travox Publics are among the consortium's members. The Metro's development is expected to cost 1.36 billion euros, 1.5 billion dollars. Sotra Abidjan Transport, the business that operates the city's buses, will operate the circular light railway. The urban railway would carry up to 500,000 passengers daily and will connect the city's north and south sides in 35 minutes, four times faster than before. This ambitious project intends to considerably improve citizens' daily lives while also contributing to the city's economic development and job creation. The Metro project will necessitate extensive infrastructure construction due to Abidjan's physical geography, which comprises multiple islands and peninsulas. A total of 24 bridges, one viaduct across a lagoon, 34 pedestrian footbridges, and eight underpasses will be built for the overground metro. Selected Alstom Metropolis trains include a next-generation communication-based train control technology. It is stated that this technology will help increase train reliability and safety. The first phase of this elevated rapid transit system is expected to open in 2025. The Abidjan suburbs of Enyama and Port Bout will be connected by an urban and suburban rail transportation system. It will connect the Ivory Coast's economic capital to the plateau's administrative and economic hub, traveling through the districts of Abobo, Ajame, Trikeville, and Port Bout. The line will come to a close with a connection between Port Bout and the Felix Hufout Boigny International Airport in the city's south. The drive from Eniyama Center to Erosity will take 50 minutes in total, to 1,435 meters. Standard gauge railway lines will be part of Metro Line 1. Electric traction, 21 rail and road bridges, landscaping and architectural systems, and noise pollution mitigation will all be included. At the SAG Triangle, a 22-hectare railway depot will be erected. For approximately 32.5 kilometers, the route will share the same rights of way as the Abidjan Wagadugu railway line. Between the towns of Plateau and Trikeville, a new rail bridge will be built in parallel to the Felix Hufit Boigny Bridge. Road and public transportation networks such as Sotra STL and Citrans Aqua Lines will be connected to the transit system. Alstom will provide the railway with 20 train sets of Metropolis trains, each with five carriages. The trains will be equipped with an innovative communication-based train control technology, which would increase train reliability and safety. Both driver and driverless modes are available on the Metropolis trains. The design encourages personalization and enhances the passenger experience. Full electrical brake systems and LED lighting will be included in the lightweight trains with increased power conversion efficiency, consuming less energy. Predictive maintenance aids in lowering maintenance costs and increasing train availability. The gangways and broad doors will allow for easy movement between rows of seats, while enormous windows and glass doors will provide a view of the outside. Passengers with limited mobility will be able to move about more easily on the train. Dynamic route maps, video surveillance, lighting solutions, onboard Wi-Fi, video displays, USB connections, and real-time passenger information are all examples of passenger-friendly modern technologies. Metropolis is designed to go at 90 km per hour with an operational speed of 80 km per hour. Alstom will also provide depot equipment, system integration, telecommunications, and signaling in addition to the Metropolis train sets. Keolis will be in charge of Line 1's maintenance and operation. The network diversion works are being carried out by the Ivorian Society for the completion of the Abidjan Metro Sigma 
in preparation for the metro project's construction. Kohler's Rail will be in charge of the metro line's electrification, as well as the track, ticketing, audio and visual systems. The collaboration is led by Bowex Travox Publics, a subsidiary of Bowex Construction, which is responsible for coordination and civil engineering. Although the project has been welcomed by many as a means to alleviate traffic congestion in the Ivorian capital, other critics believe that the project cost is excessive and that a cheaper solution, such as the Dar E Salon bus system, with a daily capacity of 400,000 people and an estimated cost of $150 million, would have been preferable. Critics argue that the $1.7 billion project, which is expected to carry 500,000 passengers per day, is a tenth of the cost of building the efficient RE Salon bus system, which could have saved Ivory host a lot of money for other development projects. Despite these criticisms, there is no doubt that the benefits of the metro rail system far outweigh the benefits of the bus system and will undoubtedly transform the Ivorian capital once completed. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this program but is not, leave a comment to let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.